Hello and welcome to Esri Australia's step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to perform basic analyses and manipulation of your data using the perform analysis function or the perform analysis tool as seen up here. The perform analysis function on ArcGIS Online allows users to access a range of virtual tools that make analysis and measurement of geographic relationships possible. This is useful as maps are used to identify patterns and relationships, assess trends and make decisions. This is called spatial analysis. In this instructional video, you will learn how to use some of the analysis tools in order to create simple yet useful manipulations to your data in order to identify patterns and relationships, assess trends and make decisions. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that performing analyses will use your organizational credits. You can view your organization's credits by clicking on the Organization tab, then the Overview tab, and viewing the credits section in the top right of your screen. Administrators can manage credits in a number of ways, including allocating specific quantities of credits to each member or student. Administrators can also monitor their members' credit usage through dashboards, charts, and reports by clicking the View Status button. If your organization is part of the GIS for Schools program, it will begin with 30,000 credits. If these credits are managed well, this will be a substantial amount to see you through to the end of the license term. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create drive time areas using the analysis function. For the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at identifying suburbs in Brisbane that do not have sufficient access to hospital services. For instance, a government may perform analysis on drive time areas to inform their decision as to where to construct a new hospital facility. In order to use the Create Drive Time Areas Analysis tool, we first need point data. That's data that occurs at a single point or a single location, which is different to line data or polygon data which deals with areas. So, we're going to go and look for three hospitals in the Brisbane area. The first that I would like you to type into the search bar is the Princess Alexandra Hospital. And don't hit enter because there are some in England. We need to make sure we choose the one in Queensland. But once that's chosen and it's re-centered the map extent, I would like you to go to add and add a map node. And we're going to call this particular feature layer hospitals or maybe Brisbane hospitals. And we're going to hit create. And this is what I mean by our point data. So we have our points, we have our lines, and we have our areas or polygons. We need to use our point data, so we're going to click on stick pin. We're going to click it right in the middle of Princess Alexandra Hospital. And we're going to rename this as the Princess Alexandra Hospital. And hit, we might change the symbol actually to suit a hospital. So if you click on the drop down, click general infrastructure and click the giant H and we might make it a bit a bit smaller 25 and hit OK and then hit close. Now we need to repeat this step twice more on two other hospitals in Brisbane. So the second one I want you to look up is the private MARTA hospital and again let the search bar pre-fill and we're looking for the one in South Brisbane, Queensland and we're going to scroll out just a little bit and recenter the map but this is the one we're after and we're going to click the stick pin again in the middle of uh, the hospital precinct and type in Marta private oh sorry it was private Marta hospital private Marta hospital and again changing the symbol to reflect that of a hospital and changing the size to be consistent. And we're going to do it once more. And we're going to add our third hospital in. And that's Brisbane Private Hospital. And that's the one on Wickham Terrace. We're going to click on that. And we're going to scroll in a bit or zoom in a bit and it's just this area here as they showed when we first searched it I'm going to pop our pin right there and again renaming it to the name of the hospital and changing that symbol and size 
and clicking OK and clicking Close. And now we're going to go to our Details tab. We're going to look at our hospitals and we're going to click on More Options and Zoom To, which will show us all three hospitals on our map. Now, full disclosure, there are more hospitals in the Brisbane area, but for the purpose of time, we're going to pretend that these three are the only hospitals in the area. Our next job is to begin running this analysis tab. So we're going to click the analysis tab and we're going to go to use proximity and you'll notice that we have our create drive time areas option. And we're going to click create drive time areas and we need to just go through each of these steps one by one to make sure we're happy with everything. So we need to firstly choose the point data that we want to create our drive time areas around. So in this particular example, we want to find the drive time areas accessible around each of these hospitals at different time intervals. So I want the hospitals uh, Brisbane points drive time area selected. And second, we're going to keep it as driving time. However, there are uh, multiple options to choose from. And we are going to see how long it might take an ambulance or how far an ambulance can travel from the hospital in, let's say, a two minute space, five minute and space, 10 minute uh, intervals. Okay, so you can actually create multiple drive time uh, buffers by simply adding a space between each uh, number that you're after. And again, you can choose hours, minutes, seconds. We're gonna stay with minutes because for example, if an ambulance was trying to get somewhere, we need to see how far that ambulance can travel in an emergency situation at around these two to five to 10 minute marks. And we're going to make it as live and as real life as possible. So we're going to click use traffic. And there is an option for live traffic. I'm going to say, because it's only 2.35 in the afternoon, I would like to see how far they could travel in peak traffic conditions. So I'll leave it on Monday, but I might change that time to 5.15 p.m. in the afternoon when everyone's trying to get home. And I'm going to scroll down and I am going to leave this as it is. Travel directions, you could choose toward the facility if you were interested in perhaps something like um, a parent trying to rush their child to the emergency room, but I'm interested in how far ambulances can leave the hospital and reach in a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna choose travel away from each of these point areas. And I, there are three different options for how your data is displayed once it's uh, generated. I like to choose this dissolve one because let's say both of these hospitals could reach a location here within 10 minutes. I would like to see where that, there, uh, where that data meets and I could use the dissolve. Alternatively, I could use the overlap as well. It's up to personal preference, but I'm going to choose dissolve in this case. If there are unreachable areas, you might wish to click on that. I'm going to leave that blank and I'm going to change this result layer name to something more uh, suitable. Ambulances outbound travel distances. And I'm going to leave that as is, choosing a save result location as necessarily. And we want to uncheck this current map extent because if we don't uncheck it, it means that it will only create data for what is currently visible on this map extent. So if I was out here, it would create data at a wider angle. If I was only focused on the MARTA hospital, it would only create data for this map extent. So we're going to turn that off anyway, so that we don't come across that error. And we're going to click Run Analysis when we're happy with everything. And again, running analysis can often take one to two minutes to complete as ArcGIS Online is performing a function for us. But in the meantime, a quick reminder that running analysis or using the analysis function does consume and use your organization's credits. So just be aware of that if you're getting multiple classes to perform this function. 
it might be worth uh, demonstrating it first so that you can avoid the use, uh, avoid errors and avoid students having to repeat that process multiple times. I'm pretty sure it's just about to load in for us. There we go. And at the moment, it looks a little bit overwhelming, but if we zone out, we can see that it's created some drive time areas and has color coded these different areas accordingly. So this light white shade, which should also appear in our legend tab, is the two minute area. And then we have our five minute reach and then we have our 10 minute reach. Alternatively, if we didn't like these colors, we could go back to content we could click on change style and we could click on options and we can change these colors as we wish. So it might be that I wanted it to show as light blue, a medium blue and a darker blue. And again, that's up to personal preference and how you wish to structure your map. The other thing I might suggest at this time is that these hospital icons are a little bit big when we zoom out a little bit and it's hard to see the two minute areas so it might be worth going to these clicking on them and pressing edit and making them a little bit smaller let's try something like uh, 17 for instance hitting ok and hitting close and we can repeat that process two more times because i'm a big fan of consistency one more changing symbol and changing that symbol size to 17 hitting ok and hitting close and now those drive time areas the two minute drive time area is a lot clearer to see if we bring it back to our real world context uh, if these hospitals were the only hospitals in brisbane uh, recommendations may have been made to the government to suggest that the construction of new hospitals in clayfield or mansfield uh, or Oxley might be the best way to go moving forward so that there are, is quicker access to emergency and health services in these outer Brisbane suburbs.